Hey Joy Riders, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the news desk, I should say. We have a special report today, don't we? Breaking news. Friday fails are hurting your riding. Friday fails cause trauma and potentially even PTSD. It's actually got a name. <laughs> This is called vicarious trauma. And vicarious trauma is clinical trauma yeah, from events. Clini clinically measurable trauma. Yes. And even PTSD yes. from things that you never experienced. But that, that you, you witnessed. That you witnessed on video. Yeah. It's being studied. Yeah. It's being quantified. I'm gonna put links to some of these scientific articles, but put that to bed right now. It happens. Yeah. The question is, does it happen to everybody? And the answer to that is no, it doesn't happen to everybody. I bet something like 20%. You may decide, hey, I just love Friday Fails. I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna tell you, there's a risk to your riding and your mental health if you decide to watch those things. I don't think we have the science to say it's 100% across the board negative for all people. I have a very strong opinion as bike coach boy. As bike coach guy, the people who come to me are t typically analytical, smart people who think about stuff. So my dogmatic advice to all my people is never, ever, ever watch crash footage, ever. Because they already have all the scenarios that they've seen. They have all the scenarios that they've made up, which mm -hmm. are very, which are equally damaging, by the way. Yeah. Right. And like, we don't need that. We need to like, like, like stop that and start to build positive <laughs> That's thoughts. So true. You Friday know? fails plays in my head whether I watch it or not. Like you said the word Friday fails and I saw a visual and yeah. my stomach reacted to that. Yeah. Like that's lizard level stuff. It's a good test. Friday fails. Friday fails. Friday fails. Did you feel anything? Did it create any imagery for you? If you have no if you had no sensations, then how about it? People love pe to watch people crash, man. The Germans had a word for it, <coughs> Schadenfreude. To take pleasure in other people's misfortune, right? Yes. That's yeah. a thing. So why do you think people consume that stuff it's so excellent question. voraciously? There's a bunch of research into scary movies and what compels people to like scary movies. I right. think it's closest to that. Yeah. In general, the people that it's most appealing to use it as a way to create a feeling of overcoming. So it does scare them. It sets off all those alarms and then they settle themselves, mm. laugh, and feel good. Maybe there's people that are tough enough to do this. I'm not one of them. No, so I'm, I'm, so I'm too I'm, sensitive. Yeah, I can't watch so a scary out. movie, dude. Yeah. Even. Probably the most dramatic visuals that stretch across all of the global world culture. I know is what you're going to talk about. The movie Jaws. Yes. Oh my God. A lot of people weren't going in the bathtub, dude. My first experience with Jaws, my cousin came over. We were gonna go to the beach. He's like, I don't wanna go. It's like, I saw this movie, Jaws. I don't wanna go to the beach. And then later he was afraid to go in the pool. And that was all I knew about the movie. I decided then I will never see that movie. And still to this day, I've never seen that movie because I love the beach. I like to surf. I wanna be in the ocean. Right. I've been charged by a tiger shark. But after experiencing it, I went back in the water the next day. I have an article, I'll put it in the links. Two guys, they teach people how to deal with trauma. They teach people how to get through PTSD. They themselves are afraid to go in the water still and have not been able to undo what that movie did to them. That's how powerful it is. It's so crazy. It's their job to help people and they can't help themselves not be afraid of the water still from a movie. You can get vicarious trauma from watching a violent event that would never happen to you in real life. Right. If you're a mountain biker and you're watching people get thrown over the bars and break their neck on jumps, it's like, pretty close that's pretty freaking close to yourself. If you've physically experienced the trauma in your own life, your potential to be keyed in by just media alone oh, is higher. It's way higher. Yeah. Yeah, so like if, if you've already like had this sensation of getting bucked over the bars on a jump, mm -hmm. even if it didn't happen, and you watch 90% of Friday Fails is people leaning back and getting bucked over oh. things. That's like the standard. Media is powerful. Yeah. Your frontal cortex can tell the difference between imaginary and real, but this part doesn't know the difference. Has no idea. That's just worth acknowledging. Your amygdala, I think, was constructed before pink bike. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I think like, this is a theme that we keep touching on. It's like, we're talking to you, like the front brain part of you, but that's not the part of you that runs your bicycle and your body when you're going fast and when you're doing your thing. Like it's your lizard. 
And so really the lizard runs the show, man. Really. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like all decisions at the last sec microsecond are lizard decisions. You're constantly using this part to download what you want into the amygdala for easy access. And imagine like a red dotted line between the top of your head and the bottom of your head. And most ideas just go ka-ting, ping, <laughs> ping. So you gotta be like tiny little slivers. To get through. That fit through the little dotted line. And it's a, it's a slow <laughs> trickle, bro. A trickle, right, of crash after crash, crash after crash. crash after crash. That makes it through. So you talk about that filter, that's part of why it gets through. We'll say, because it's, it's, it's ubiquitous. It's yeah. constant, 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 constant. Vicarious trauma from MTB fail videos affects millions. Signs of vicarious trauma include an irrational fear of small obstacles, a deep and persistent lack of stoke, stomach upset caused by the sight of dirt jumps, excessive excuse making, overactive or twitchy break finger, loss of sleep worrying about drops, fear of stairs. If you think you may suffer from vicarious trauma, ask your doctor about Phalarex. When part of a healthy lifestyle of positive thinking, patients on Phalarex experienced increased stoke, shreddiness, and send in as little as four weeks. Ask your doctor if Phalarex is right for you. Phalarex, because you only want shred in your head. If you can't visualize success, then you can't have it. You have to be able to visualize it. Yeah. Visualization comes from two places. It comes yes. from us and what we create, but it also comes from what we borrow from our environment. And visualization, like you can do in the first person, like this is what it looks and feels like from here, which is very powerful. But mm -hmm. I've been reading things that say it's almost more powerful to be able to see yourself in the third person. Right. If you're watching beautiful writing the kind that you aspire to in the third person yeah that's good data that's yeah. good loading we all have these tendencies toward the negative thinking we have to really decide on the positive and like yeah like you'll read over and over again that our minds are something like 10 times more likely to store negative experiences than positive experiences visualization is important progression is important to me would way rather ride well than watch friday fails I would rather do amazing things than watch other people do horrible things. If you like this video, hit the like button, smash that subscribe button, ding the bell so the algorithm knows you actually want to see the next video mm -hmm. that we're going to put out next week and it'll yep. show it to you. Yep. And we will see you next time on Joy of Bike. Namastook. I went to see Gravity and I said to my son, oh, you should check out Gravity. Awesome movie. And he said, no, dad, someday I might go into space. That's how I felt about Jaws, which is like, I want to keep going in the water. That's cool. It was brilliant.